Before we get any further into this video, can we hit 3,000 likes? If this video hits 3,000 likes, we will do the fabled £1,000 football shirt mystery box, but only if this video hits 3,000 likes. So, so far, these boxes haven't gone to plan. We've had names like Kniv, other names. It's all gone wrong. We've spent over £500 on boxes and things have gone pear-shaped, but that changes today, my friends. That changes today. Destiny, £500, mystery boxes of football shirts. Let's get into this as we change history. Right, so let's get into this. If you guys aren't familiar with the series, essentially we open mystery shirts of football boxes that I've obtained on the internet, and then we open them and see what shirts we get. So far, we made profit on the first box. The second box, don't really want to talk about it. I've been reached out to by two different people who have provided two boxes for me. So this one should hopefully, hopefully be a bit better. The first one, I was lucky enough to get a box from a subscriber of one of mine called Veniska Jerseys, who sells football shirts on Instagram. The page is there. Be sure to check them out in the description. And the second box that will open has been provided by the fantastic people over at the kitman.co.uk. I spent £220 on their box, £280 on the first box, bringing a total to £500. If for whatever reason you're a football shirt collector or a football shirt buyer and you're not familiar with the Kitman, it is a fantastic place for you to go buy football shirts. The link is in the description. As I said, they provided a second box for us. They provide new football shirts, they provide retro football shirts and everything in between. So be sure to go check out the website and have a look. And they have so many shirts, so many cool shirts as well some really different shirts that maybe you wouldn't be able to find elsewhere online. So if you want to check them out, they're at the top of the description. Huge thanks to the Kitman for selling us a box, and hopefully it's good because it's gonna look quite bad on you if it's not. <laughs> also, before we get into the first shirt of this box, I promise you that I'll open the shirts after this. If you are new around here, be sure to subscribe. We're currently looking to hit 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2020. We're on course to just do so, but obviously the fact that no football is on has really hindered football channels like myself. So please, if you're new around here or you watch the videos all the time and you're not yet to subscribe, please do. It takes two seconds. And if you like this video, you might like another one. You might just subscribe. You know, you can always unsubscribe at a later date, but just give me the satisfaction for today. Give me that small win. Shirt number one. That doesn't feel like a shirt. That's because it's not. It's a signed photo by Frankie de Jong. I mean... It's a nice start, isn't it? Shirt one. It is. It says Dortmund on the back. I reckon it's a Dortmund shirt. It is a lovely Borussia Dortmund away shirt. This is awesome. And it's not a child's size, is it? It's an XL. <laughs> yes, guys. So the first shirt of the video is a Borussia Dortmund shirt. And I'm so happy that we've started off well. There's no Kniv. Where's Sternalov when you need him? Shirt two is a lovely Borussia Mönchengladbach top in size small. Maybe we're getting a bit of a Bundesliga theme here. Marcel Najeng, he played for Mönchengladbach. We've had two shirts and two of them have been good already. It's a great start. I also, I also brought this shirt with me. I couldn't decide which shirt to wear for today's video. I brought, brought this one with me as well. I could have, if I wanted to, been like, oh my God, I got it in the video, but I don't lie. But I did promise people a good video and pfft. also a quick side note the abuse from the viewers of the channel recently about my bald head Not on <laughs> shirt three Who are these? It looks very jazzy. It's a club called SV Issinger shirt four It's a Holland shirt lovely jubbly with a little bit of the public. It's an XL as well That's love should we should we put some of these up behind it? No, no, we shouldn't do that. I've got a lovely backdrop. We've got let me guess the players. I think Neil, Larson, Solskjaer. Who's that? It is. Just look at the badge, guys. I don't have a clue. It's a Werder Bremen shirt, is it? Yeah. It's, it's a very big German theme here, isn't there? I think every shirt has been based in Germany. That's lovely. Lovely stuff. Double XL, Werder Bremen shirt. I like Werder Bremen just have nice shirts, don't they? Let's be honest. It's just when you get when you're green, you can't really go wrong. Oh, now we are talking. Do I already have this? Oh. Guys. <laughs> yes. Right, just wanna just wanna note this probably isn't gonna be the best shirt in the world to you, but what a start, by the way. I've not I, I'm kind of blown away with this. Every shirt I'm taking out is good. And Hopefully we carry on like this. We've got another... Oh. It is a Michael Ballack Germany shirt. Oh. Yes! 
It's an XL as well. These are all, by the way, obviously that I didn't get these boxes from eBay so that you'd logically think they're going to be better. So don't be like, oh, well, it's obviously better. It's not from eBay. I know that, but these are all great. Like I couldn't have expected to, to have started this well. Like what's that in value of shirts already? Well, like six shirts in, that's got to be over 120 quid. I'm just speculating. People always moan at me for that as well. That shirt's actually worth 48 and you said it was worth 42. A cologne shirt. Oh, yes, baby. <laughs> what's what's a German football team's favourite singer? Post Cologne. It's a Porto shirt, and the fun thing about this is I'm trying to collect every FC Porto home shirt that's ever been. Don't have this one. It's a medium. Let's get this on me, baby. Obviously, it's not in the best condition in terms of the sponsor, but I don't care. Some people are damaged and fragile in life. Oh, it's the same club as before. Are these potentially a German non-league club? I'm not quite sure. Let's have a look at that. Hang on a minute. We're seeing double. This is... A size small Australia home shirt, but this one doesn't have Neil on the back. Neil? Oh, hello. This is a Bayern Munich home shirt. It was... It's bloody lovely, isn't it? I don't know what size it is. The size has faded off it, but... What a stunning shirt. <laughs> no way. No way. No way. <laughs> the It's a size, oh, stunk. A size small Adidas Germany home shirt, I believe. I'm going to guess 1996. Oh, it says on it. One sec. No, it doesn't. Also, as per every video, if you're not, if, they, if you see a shirt in this video and you like it, the videos are made to do them at cost, so I will sell £500 in values worth of football shirts back after this video. So if you see a shirt you like at this point and you're like, oh, I would like to buy that off Ellis, there's a link in the description to my page on Depop where I sell a load of the shirts from these boxes because obviously I'm not a wealthy man. I don't have a lot of money. So to make these videos justifiable, I sell a lot of the shirts back and then keep a few for myself because that way you guys get some entertaining piece of content and I managed to not cripple myself. VFL Botchum. A Botchum shirt which has Botchum on the back. Botchum on the back. Hotel. Trivago, Benabache shirt, lovely stuff. It was, um, obviously once again, the damage on, on the sponsor is not ideal. It is a large, um, this is incredible. This has gone like incredibly well. The person who sold me this box, his page to, and Instagram is linked in the description. This is unreal. Like this would be the best shirt in the last box. Like this shirt right now. Anyone who hasn't seen that video, it's in this playlist, just go and watch it. But. Everyone in this comment section who's watching this right now is like, oh my god, he's bless him, he he's done alright. <laughs> it's a it's a medium Fenerbahce shirt. Oh, it's a large Fenerbahce shirt, sorry. And the good thing about them is they weren't horrible to leads. Anyone able to tell me what club this is? This is another nice Germany shirt. I don't know if this is an official one or a training top. It's got Yanker on the back. <laughs> Yanker on the back. Wanker in front of it. <laughs> If I guessed a year, I'd just be speculating. But once again, would be... It's another incredible find. It's a Galatasaray shirt. That'll be being sold. This one's not got a name on the back, but... There we go. Lo lovely stuff. German. There's another German shirt. Jesus Christ. Fentan. Who's on the back of this one? Is it... Let me guess. Is it Sternalov? It is Balak again. Oh. <laughs> it is a UK medium. That is an absolutely unreal shirt again. So another shirt here is a UK large. It's Valadoid, I believe. Barcelona. Another one of these bad boys. <laughs> the problem with this video is, right, in the other videos, it's been very clear that I've had to sell to make my money back. I want to keep all of them. Who's on the back of this one? Rod. Eintracht Frankfurt shirt with Rod on the back. It is a UK XL. Oh, it is, ah, it's just beautiful. It's a water shirt, that is. With how excited I get over football shirts, it's going to blow your mind that I actually am in a relationship. That's crazy, isn't it? I know. I mean, you'd think by this point that I was like just laying in bed with football shirts every night. Which I mean, I definitely don't do. Bayern Munchen. Another Bayern Munich shirt. This one is a UK medium. 
This is crazy how many Bayern Munich shirts we've, we're finding. This is an incredible shirt. It's a 3XL. If there's any Italian 3XL people, who's that? It says burger on the back. We have a contender for shirt of the video. You ready? Next German shirt. There's going to be an influx of Germany shirts listed on my Depop tonight. And my bank account can't wait. <laughs> extra, extra large. Oh, it's when they were sponsored by Cow. When their kits are made by Kappa. Look at that. Double XL, much in glad back home shirt. That's a beauty, isn't it? Let me try it on. I want to keep it. It's not. Let me go look in the mirror. <laughs> it's too big, Ellis. Never heard that before. <laughs> Who is this team? They've got Bundesliga badges on the side of them and they've got a player name on the back of it. I have no idea. So this is a UK small Bayern Munich shirt. Very key to note that it says Schweinsteiger on the back. Is it wrong of me at this moment to be thinking that we've probably made £500 and then some back from this box alone? Or am I getting a bit too excited? I, I really don't know. Spain shirt from the World Cup Champions shirt thing. Very nice. UK large will be mine. There we go. Nice. A, a XL Real Madrid home shirt, away shirt, blue shirt, a whale. Whale. What's, what's a big fish's favourite team? Whale Madrid. You can tell I'm liking this one and I'm, doing, I'm not as stressed with this one because I'm making awful jokes. When the only joke here... I don't know the team. Medium Brazil shirt. Everyone loves a Brazil shirt, don't they? Brazil shirts are just nice. Like, you can't make a bad Brazil shirt. Not really sure who this team are, but look at the numbers on the back of the shirt. I'll call they're done. Another Germany shirt. Another Spain home shirt for my collection. I'm going to close my eyes for this shirt, and I'm going to show you guys it first, and then we'll... Because we haven't done that yet, because... I mean, I'm just so... I'm just... Alright, close my eyes. Right. You guys have seen this before me. Oh my god. It's a 4XL cologne shirt. I don't know what's kicking off a bit, but... Question one, how old is it? Question two, who signed it? Question three, is this really happening? <laughs> Cheeky little medium Orsberg shirt. These German shirts are becoming the New England shirt. <laughs> Two to go from box number one, and we're going with a Besiktas shirt. Oosh. Very nice Besiktas shirt. It is a small. Sometimes a small can be deceiving. It's not about the size of the shirt. <laughs> Another German shirt. This time with Bad Stuber on the back. It's a UK small, but still. Question I'm asking is, who who's rocking up with Bad Stuber on the back? Fair play to you, but... Why? A Schalke shirt with Ailton on the back. And this is a size XL. This is a beauty as well, isn't it? Oh my God. I'm going to have such a tough time. Because like, obviously off camera, I sort all the shirts out. And like I've always been open for the fact there's not much space where I, where I live. But what? I don't want to part with them. Let's open box two. Right guys, onto box two. As previously stated, this box was kindly provided to us by the fantastic people over at thekitman.co.uk. It is a fantastic website for football shirts and I'm genuinely so humbled by the fact that they reached out to us and said, Ellis, let's work together on this. We'll provide you with a box. You provide us with a cash payment towards your video and we'll provide you with a box. So fingers crossed this video is great because they have some incredible stuff on their site. And I understand that some of the things sent to us might not have been listed on the site yet, so I'm hoping we have some absolute gems. But let, let's get into this, I'm so excited. We've already had a fantastic start with the box provided to us by Veniska Jerseys. Let's get onto box number two, and hopefully it's an absolute corker. Shirt one of box two is this Arsenal uh, fan shirt with, uh, obviously, it's a size medium. If you're an Arsenal fan, it's gonna, it's gonna suit you more than me. Okay, cool, so we've got a brand new with tags, Tunade shirt here. I believe this was a campaign ran, obviously, in Newcastle by fans to raise money for a charity. It's cool but it's with tags, it's a size small. Next up we have this double XL Fulham shirt. I'm unsure as to whether it's, I'm guessing it's a training top, but double XL, unsure of the brand this, 
by Erna Sport. Is anyone able to give me a year on this? A Leeds United shirt, of course it is. It's a net flight shirt, classic. I believe this is our away shirt this season. We got promoted back to the championship. So these have gone perfectly. We've got a Porto shirt, we've got a Leeds shirt. It's just, what, what a day I've had today. This has been, I took the day off work to open these boxes. What a choice. Okay, cool, we've got an extra large uh, Bristol City home shirt. I think we've had a few comments in the videos before of people saying, oh, Ellis, if you ever get a Bristol City shirt, then hit me up. Well, here it is. <laughs> UK XL, right, you're gonna be like, oh, Ellis, Liverpool shirt, yeah. Name on the back. Robbie Fowler. I'm finding these shirts are very rare to find, but I feel that I've found them more often than I should have. You see, the Arsenal classic shirt, when they're sponsored by O2, Remembering Thierry Henry and his total night news with his gloves on are oh, superb. Oh, it's a Toffs retro remake Brazil shirt. You know, the, the classic feel Toffs Brazil shirts when they had only won three World Cups. It has a cool feel to it. Uh, I'll be completely transparent and say that retro remake shirts aren't really my thing, but I understand that people love them. And I'm sure that that's a really cool find for someone out there that is interested in retro remake shirts. It's just, they're not for me. I'd rather have the original... Like this shirt, for example, there's so many remakes of this shirt. I hunted for ages to find a genuine version of it. It better be genuine. A lovely little large AAK Athens home away shirt. Cool shirt, and the, the sleeves on this are very weird. What's... Korea... Korea shirt? I'll be honest, I'm not, I'm not sure what club this is. <laughs> the feel of shirts from the early 2000s is so, is so odd. It's a Man U shirt from, from the early 2000s. It is a large. It's not got a sponsor on it, so I'm presuming it's a training top. But still, the, the shirts from, from that era, I don't like them. I had an, a, the Inter Milan shirt from this. Ugh. There we go again. It's the same Real Madrid shirt as earlier, I believe, but this time in a small. And it's such a beautiful shirt, isn't it? Like, it's an unreal shirt. I believe it's from a year. <laughs> you never thought you'd be saying this. It's a retro Crew Alexandra shirt. <laughs> Long sleeved XL. That is a lovely shirt. If any if any Crew Alexandra fans are watching this, five hundred pounds. Can anyone help me here? What? Hang on a minute. England. There's a number ten on the back. It's got the the umbro. What am I looking at here? This. Is this amazing or is this a remake? Either, either way, it looks incredible. By the way, what a shirt that is. Retro England. Is this an original? It can't be because it says as worn by the World Cup winners 1966. But even if it's a remake, I've never seen this before. The back stitched on. Is that, an, is that insane or is that... It's insane even. Medium Italy. It feels this this shirt almost feels like a t-shirt. Because it is Ellis. Right, this this Chelsea polo shirt, right? Just screams John Terry, doesn't it? The amount of images you see of John Terry wearing this polo top. Unfortunately, he decided to spend some time not wearing much with other people's wives, didn't, didn't you, John? Got another Toffs retro remake shirt. This time it is a vintage Shrewsbury Town shirt. The thing is with some of these Toffs remakes, like they're very valuable still because obviously the Toffs shirts only have a limited run too. So these ones, like a Shrewsbury one, is actually a very nice find. I'm sure there'll be some Shrewsbury fans watching this looking to holler my way, dollar dollar, holler holler. Newton Town small polo shirt. So we've actually got some brand new in the bags football shirts here. We have an Ipswich Town large shirt. It's when, I think it's last season. That's really cool. It's still in the bar, it's still in the bag. Okay, awesome again. We've got another Ipswich shirt, the home shirt from that same season. Also in a bag, large. Problem with these is, like right near the mic, it's hard to hear me, so put them down over there, but two Ipswich shirts, both in the bags from last season, both larges, lovely. Norfolk FA referee shirt. Okay, this is a cool shirt. This is a small, no idea on the club again. They know the way to my heart. Let me just put this on one sec. 
essentially I'm a sucker for tracksuit tops and hoodies and sweatshirts as football teams and this just ticks all the boxes it's a large Bayern Munich tracksuit top we have got a very big German invasion in terms of our in terms of our in terms of our box today German invasion Jesus Christ Ellis but it's a lovely jacket there's another jacket what tech? <laughs> so this is a case of this is a really cool find in the box. This is an amazing item that they've sent me. I just can't pull it off about the sleeves. I look a bit stupid, but I imagine that other people look really cool. The large pumpy top here, is this training? It can't be, look at it. Not sure on that one. I've never never seen this kind of Portsmouth shot. It's when you were, the kits are made by whoever that is. So obviously, as I've always said in these videos, the most efficient way to buy shirts that you want is by just buying the shirts. But you get so many random shirts in these boxes, and they're so cool. Like, when would I ever have owned a large Reading shirt? We picked out a Reading shirt, an English shirt, after a Real Madrid coat, after a Brian Munich zip jacket, after a Robbie Fowler shirt at some point in there. What? It's just fun, isn't it? Like, we, we do have fun. And then we follow up with a small Gillingham shirt. And then that's followed by a Brentford training top. It's just... You love to see it. You do love to see it. What a channel. Subscribe. A bit biased. It's another jacket. It's a UK small Chelsea zip jacket. It does look really nice, but, you know, I just... Chelsea are one of them clubs that have never resonated with me. I know, obviously, you're a plastic. You support every club. No, I don't. The only thing I support is my family financially. My family is me, my cat, and my girlfriend. Okay, this is a really nice one. I believe it's a youth large or a youth XL. A Roma shirt, long-sleeved. Not sure on the year on that one, but it's a very cool retro kappa shirt. Okay, so a bit of a backstory behind this one in that it is an incredible jacket. It's one of the most sought after football jackets that is. It's the Italy 1994 and 1998 World Cup jacket the team wore. Fun story about it is I found this exact one in Prague in the same size in an XL. So if I will be selling this on, but what an unreal jacket. Like these boxes, oh my God. This is what they should be. This is what people expect when they click these videos. This is what you want to see. We put out random, valuable, just unique stuff from these boxes. And I can't believe this one's gone so well. Huge thank you to the two sellers again. But, oh, let's get out of it because it's hot. Lovely medium Arsenal shirt. Can't pick it up. There we go. Oh, no. This is a unique one. It's a large Portsmouth FC shirt from when they went on their European run. It's um, it's got all the clubs they played, and on the back it's obviously got this. That's really cool. I'm sure some Portsmouth fans probably wanting that, so I don't want to hold on to items like that because obviously there'll be some sentimental value to any Portsmouth fans that didn't have that top for when they went on that European run and embarrassed some clubs that they didn't have any right to embarrass. They're spending money they didn't have any right to spend. <laughs> there is a Sunderland large shirt with the number three on the back. That's the kind of Sunderland shirt I think of them being in the Premier League, you know, like Niall Quinn. Um, Niall Quinn. We'll do this one first. It is a Manchester United um, small shirt. It's a t-shirt. I'm not sure as to the age of it. I don't know if it's one of them ones that is made to look old, but isn't old, or it's just a, or if it's just the an old an old shirt. But it's very cool. This is the problem with Matt Newis. They have some of the nicest shirts and some of the nicest like fan merch because there's obviously so many fans they can sell them. I just don't like the club. <laughs> Here we go. Last shirt of the video. You couldn't write it. It actually looks like I've scripted it, but I haven't. It's, it's an England shirt. Is this someone from the last World Cup? I think it is. Classic. Right guys, so that concludes our video. Huge thank you to you all for watching this far in. If you want to see me open a £1,000 mystery box, then you guys know what to do. 3,000 likes and you'll get the £1,000 mystery box video. If you're new around here, subscribe and be sure to check out the rest of the mystery box videos and my other football shirt content in this playlist too. Yeah, and leave a comment on your favourite shirt of the video. If you've bought any football shirts yourself recently, leave a comment. I'd love to know and see what you guys have been collecting yourselves. And yeah, thanks for watching. The road to 100,000 subscribers is... It's taking a few bumps by the fact there's no football for me to watch and that's the whole point of the channel. But other than that, I'm going to stop talking now and let you get on with the rest of your day. Subscribe. Viva la away days.